Nolajet here at Martin Wine Cellar. Good stuff in here? Yeah! Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Blog, we are at Martin's Wine Cellar on a travel search for the best burger options in New Orleans. Martin's Wine Cellar is located in the New Orleans Uptown neighborhood at 3827 Barone Street, which is about 12 minutes and three and a half miles away from the French Quarter. Martin's Wine Cellar has been family owned and operated since 1946, featuring a delicatessen, gourmet food, wine, spirits, imported beer, and gift baskets. The Uptown location is the original location of Martin's Wine Cellar, and they also have three other locations in Metairie, Mandeville, and Baton Rouge. So let's head on inside here and check this place out. Before Hurricane Katrina, I lived walking distance from Martin's Wine Cellar, and I definitely enjoyed eating the great food here many times in those days. And the food is still great, although the building is now completely new and different, as the old one was damaged by flood water and looting during Katrina. Martin's Wine Cellar has always been noted for their great burger, although it does take about 20 minutes to prepare, so if you want a burger, you might want to call your order in ahead of time. So this really is an amazing spot that offers a lot of great selection of wine, beer, liquor, and all manner of delicious gourmet food items. So their selection's amazing. They always have great specials and deals. And if you can't find something you want, they'll help you order it. And they also do fantastic events. They do catering. And there's always something interesting going on in here. And the deli is right up here in front of us, but there's plenty of other delicious items that you get to see on the way up to the deli to tempt you. So you never know what you're going to end up with in here. So they have their standard selection of items that are typically on display. And then they have changing daily specials. And there's multiple of those daily specials. So you've got a lot of temptation to get through here. So you have their all the time deli menu you can see on the chalkboards there. And then the daily specials will be on a smaller menu and those will be changed out. You can also check out their website. And they also have a phone number you can call in to get the specials on a recording. And they have so many great things here. They have this great beer selection. Now, the display cases are actually way less full. Typically, they have way more desserts than they have here and way more things in the display cases. But due to the current pandemic situation, there's a little less stuff than usual. And you can tell, though, there's still a lot of items in here that look delicious. So any kind of meats and cheeses, they have their uh, prepared meals ready to go there. They put those on great special sometimes. A huge selection of cheeses. Oh, so many good things in here. And they'll do a cheese plate for you, and then you can get a little wine to go with that, so they take good care of you. And then they put things like cookies out all over the place to tempt you. So, the total for my meal was $28.62 because I gave in and got lots of different items. So, I've never seen a lot of tourists in here. This is mostly a locals joint. But, hey, you know, in New Orleans, everybody can be a local for a day, so anybody can come in and visit. And they've really made this a comfortable, wonderful spot to be in. And you should definitely visit if you're in town. So we're going to kick off with a seafood gumbo. And then I got the cheeseburger with french fries. And I also got this Italian wedding cake. They have such amazing cakes here at Martin's. You have to get a cake whenever you're here or a pie. Ooh. They do have a good seafood gumbo here. Look at this delicious huge shrimp. Ooh. So I called ahead to get my burger started since it does take 20 minutes to prepare. And I told them I'd be dining in and then I ordered all the rest of this when I got to the counter. So I'm not sure how they packed it all to go when I told them I was going to be eating here. Because let me tell you, getting the lid off of this container of gumbo was no easy task. This was like the most sealed up container I think I've ever dealt with. So as long as the lid's on, this thing's not spilling, but getting it off takes some effort and I spilled quite a bit getting the lid off. So the gumbo is one of the weekly specials that's typically served on Fridays. Now I've destroyed the gumbo, so go ahead and destroy the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And we've completely almost cleaned our plate. There's a little left in the bottom. I'll lick that out later, so it's so good. Now we're going to move on to the cheeseburger. So 
They do have a pretty good cheeseburger here that they cook fresh for you. So here we go bite again. Some good flavors. That's a big chunk of meat and the meat is bigger than the bun. So that's always a bonus. So there's good thickness to the patty. It has good flavors. It is uh, juicy, but I have had juicier. So um, the lettuce and tomatoes are maintaining good structural cohesion on here. And I ordered it with Creole mustard and they put enough of that on there to make me happy. Some places don't put enough mustard on. They just do one little squirt. You certainly get a generous sized piece of meat on your burger. I'd say it's a bit above average with the thickness and diameter of it. And they have some good flavors on here with everything that comes on the burger. And the bun complements the meat perfectly. It's just the right size and everything's going together very well. I'm not having any structural cohesion issues. Everything is solidly together. It's all working well together. So they did excellent planning and implementation of their burger construction. And I'm completely and totally taking it down with no issues whatsoever. This is a very easy eating burger. So no complaints, good flavors and easy to eat. So look at this nice little chunk left little appetizer left to destroy and now we've got to get to work on these french fries and they are a beautiful golden color they're seasoned very well so let's bite in and taste it and uh look at there these are good french fries that are perfectly fried they have a little extra nice crispy crunch in the outside they give them a little extra kick from normal and they've got a little uh, extra seasoning on it so these are uh, definitely some nice french fries that complement the burger pretty well. So just like I've destroyed this last french fry, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about the burger and fries so far. So now we're moving on to this Italian wedding cake. This is quite an impressively sized slice of cake. I'm gonna be hard pressed to get through all of this huge slice of cake after all the food I've already had with the burger, fries, and gumbo, but the temptation's too great. The cake is too delicious. I must have it. I must eat it all, and maybe. I, I think I can finish it. It's so delicious. I don't think I can refuse to eat this. It's so wonderful. I actually know people that will come into Martin's Wine Cellar and get a huge slice of cake like this and only eat the cake for lunch, so. <laughs> Hey, in New Orleans, we do know how to indulge ourselves. And uh, sometimes they might have a glass of wine or champagne with their cake. And you'll see people every day of the week in here enjoying wine, champagne, and beer with their lunch. So they even have a happy hour here daily too. So don't count that out. So <laughs> we're always having some good times here at Martin's. It's uh, such a delicious thing. And ooh, I've got the pecan on here and oh, a great flavor so you definitely want to sample all of the desserts that you possibly can while you're in this store you might have to pace yourself a little more they also have fantastic specials all the time like crawfish pies and all manner of other items that are on rotation throughout the year you never know exactly what you're gonna find and here it's always a surprise day by day about the different wonderful selections of food and drink items so it's always a fun, enjoyable time in here and always an interesting crowd of uh, unique New Orleans people doing things in different ways that most people in the rest of the USA do. So now I've totally destroyed this cake, so destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this wonderful meal of so much food. And hey, now we're going to show you the entire meal and time warp speed from my GoPro that I also had recording. So you can see all of the steps that it took to make this video. So you can see there's a lot more that happened than that we actually put in the previous film because uh, you know, you gotta do some work and get things ready to film. So I was using uh, three cameras in this video. I've got my cell phone camera, a Sony RX107 and my GoPro. So. <laughs> We captured more in this than my typical video, so comment below, let me know uh, which of these three cameras you like the most. So the cell phone camera was more of a close-ups. The super fast time warp speed is from the GoPro. 
And the rest of the further off shots sitting at the table here were done with the Sony RX100 7. So thanks so much to everybody at Martin's for many years of fantastic food and good times. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagen channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you could just go ahead and destroy that thumbs up right now and comment below, let me know what you thought about this video. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. And if you could just share this video with any of your contacts and friends that would enjoy it, I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, which will be that little circle with my head inside of it there. And the rectangles on either side of it will be another Nola Jet video. So tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people.